Quentin Tarantino, my absolute favorite director. But how does this film rank up on my ranking system? You're about to find out. What's going on guys, it's Kyle here and welcome to back to my channel. Today I'm going to be ranking every single Quentin Tarantino film in my personal opinion. So I actually currently own every single Tarantino film he's ever made, which isn't saying a lot because he's only made like nine films, so I guess it's not terribly too many, but I'm going to be ranking all nine films. Let's get started. So coming up at number nine is Death Proof. A pretty underrated movie in my opinion, but when you compare this movie to his other films, this one kind of falls flat. Uh, the story is kind of messed up. Um, acting isn't very good in this one. He tried way too hard to make it more retro feeling by like scratching the film reel, which makes it really stupid to watch. Um, this was part of a grindhouse uh, twofer, like, which is like a four hour movie or something like that, but it was like this movie and then um, Planet Terror directed by Robert Rodriguez plus some other bumpers and stuff, which is a cool thing to watch all together, like all four hours is really cool, but this movie, not very good, but it's definitely not a terrible movie, when you rank, when you compare it with other movies, you can see how bad it is. Coming up at number eight is The Hateful Eight. Ah, very fitting, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah, but number eight is The Hateful Eight. Uh, I currently, I really didn't like this movie that much, I thought it was way too long, um, I thought the acting was really good though, um, some really good performances in here, the story's good too, I just find that it's just very long and very tedious and boring at times, uh, I understand it's like a one, um, a one set kind of movie where it takes place in one particular setting, but I don't know, it didn't really work, this is all dialogue basically, there's only a couple cool parts about the movie, ending is pretty good, but when you compare it to other films, obviously it does not come up, in my opinion, to the very top. Very good, but just not one of his best. Coming up at number 7 is Inglorious Bastards. Um, this one I didn't really feel was as good as people were telling me. People were telling me this is one of the best Tarantino films, it's one of the best films of the past century, and I don't really agree with that. I think it's very boring at times, and there really isn't any cool parts except for the ending with him killing Hitler, like that scene is awesome. That's pure Tarantino, but this one I thought was just not as good as other ones. The acting is great, the um, dialogue is really good as well. Just the story was kind of boring and sluggish. I only had to rewatch it because I was kind of going off and on on my phone when I was watching this one, so I might have to rewatch it to change my opinion on it. But as of right now, it's my number seven spot. Coming up at number six is Jackie Brown, the um, easily his most underrated film uh, out of all of his films. Really, a really good film. Just obviously not as good as as the other ones I'm about to tell you, but Jackie Brown, man, a great cast. Uh, the dialogue is amazing. As always in all these movies, his movies have some of the best dialogue you'll ever see in a film. Uh, the story's really good in this one. It's a it's a heist movie told in like different perspectives. Uh, I thought it was really well done. Um, just not as good as the other ones because I just thought it was pretty long. I mean, there is a well, there is my number my, my number two is very long, but. Um, that one is for other reasons, but this one just wasn't as good as other ones, but still a solid film, really. Coming up at number five is Kill Bill Volume 2. Now, this one does contain my favorite scene out of all Kill, out of, the, out of the two Kill Bill films, which is, of course, the fight between, uh, the bride and, um, what's her name, the one with the eye patch, I forgot her name, God, um, but... Besides that, this movie's very, very sluggish. It still has the same charm, but this one's longer, it drags on more, the action is still there, just a lot of dialogue scenes. Um, the thing about the first one is that it's pretty much all action throughout the entire movie. This one had a lot of sluggish parts, um, but like I said, some of the coolest action scenes you'll ever see in a film are in these two films, but this is my number five spot. Coming up at number four is Reservoir Dogs, his first film. Um, really, really impressive work for his first film, man. Um, the acting all here is fantastic, with from a, from a fantastic cast as well. Um, the story is very tightly wound, and it tells its story beautifully. The violence is awesome. Um, some really great scenes, very memorable scenes. Um, uh, I think my only grip about it was probably, um, the length. I feel like this could have been a longer movie. I mean, honestly, this one didn't really tell everything that it probably needed to tell. Uh, definitely could have been longer, but overall, really good film, my number four spot. Coming up at number three is Kill Bill Volume 1. Uh, wow, what a film, guys. If you love awesome 80s action, um, awesome 80s kung fu movies, this is a film for you. Even if you're not a fan of Tarantino, 
this is a film for you. It has all those tropes in it, but they mash them all beautifully together in this awesome homage to 80s, 70s um, kung fu films. That is my number three pick. Coming up at number two was actually my favorite Tarantino for a long time until I saw number one. But number two is Django Unchained. It's on my freaking, it's in my bedroom. I got a poster of it. It is one of the best movies that come out in the last 10 years. If you have not seen this movie, even if you're not a Tarantino fan, you still have a good action, uh, slightly comedic, uh, awesome movie. This is your movie. Oh my god, this movie is awesome, dude. Like, from the acting, to the action, to the uh, stunts, to the blood, to the soundtrack, to the editing, to the everything, dude. This movie is awesome. I just feel like this one is amazing, but not as good as number one. So, number two spot. And my number one favorite Tarantino film of all time is, well, you probably already knew, if you've seen all Tarantino films, you already know which one it is if you haven't seen it yet, and that is Pulp Fiction. I have two copies of Pulp Fiction because I love this movie so, so much. I've seen this movie 20 times now, and I saw this for the first time earlier this year, and I've already watched it 20 times. Does that tell you something? I have this Blu-ray copy because it came with the uh, Tarantino collection, and I also have this DVD collector's edition, which is such a cool, like, collector's item for collectors. I mean, my god. But anyways, this movie is awesome. Like, the story is told in such a unique way that had never been told before until this movie came out, I'm pretty sure. It's in, uh, dis- dis- it's like a disjumbled puzzle, but in the end, every piece comes together to make this awesome, awesome movie. Such memorable lines, such memorable characters, such memorable stories. I mean, my god, this movie has it all. But if you love a good movie that you can sit down to and watch the whole thing, I highly, highly recommend you check out Pulp Fiction. How have you not seen this movie? I don't understand. This movie's been out since, like, the 90s. How have you not seen this movie? Anyways, guys, that is the video. That is me ranking every single Tarantino film I own, which is all of them. Look how many Tar- I don't- There's too many. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you did enjoy, remember to leave a like and subscribe uh, to see similar content like this. Also, don't remember to comment down below and let me know what you liked about the video and let me know what your favorite Tarantino film is. Also, don't forget to um, follow me on Stardust where I do movie reviews, 10-second um, movie reviews. It's such a cool app. I recommend you download it and follow me. It's Kyle. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram for pics. I don't know. I'm gonna start plugging my uh, social medias now. Uh, I'll put them in the link description box below. Check them out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a fantastic day and peace out. Bye guys.